Okay, so I'm going to use the first two movements from uh, Kao Roshi's Mui Tai Chi sequence that we learned in our system uh, as a way to practice with the hot meter. And so before we get started, I'm just going to take a quick look at the meter. Uh, and if I don't do any, if I don't do any relaxation or setting of the hara, and I'm carrying tension high, uh, then it looks to me I'm about a 30 as a baseline, roughly. If I just simply relax into my hara, allowing my weight to settle there, uh, my baseline is in about that 40 range. And so uh, what you're going to be watching is what happens uh, with the meter uh, as I practice these two movements. I'm going to practice it in three different ways. I'm going to do the first version with the most uh, external power and intensity, and I'm going to do the full shout or ki, that's sort of full volume approach and full speed. The second approach I'm going to do is, is still faster and with intensity, but not the ki, -i, so just breath, so not the shout. And then the third version I'm going to do is a slower version where I'm working with a more steady breath uh, as, a, as a more refined application of these movements. And the exercise here will be to observe the meter. If I was practicing on my own, uh, I could look at the meter, have somebody observe it for me and give me feedback. So again, starting with these three movements, um, here we go. <clears throat> So in all three applications, I am uh, aware of how I'm using the hara. In the first application, the power is more explosive. In the second application, the power is still explosive, but without the sound generated. The third one is a more steady, continuous engagement of the hara in a similar way to zazen. 